Let's see what's going on in Genshin Impact. Cookie Swirl, see? <laughs> oh, Storm Terror. I hear them talking about Storm Terror. Hi, puppy. This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the Holy Liar de Hamel. Okay. May the Animal Archon protect you. Thank you. But I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Well, that's nice. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Not good. I'm glad that we took care of it. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? Do I have it? We, uh, did bring it with us. Um, it's just, it's a little... Just say it, just say it. Here you go. Uh, what? Uh, uh, the Holy Liar! <laughs> it's a little broken. Oh, Barbados, even if I atone for these sins for the rest of my life, it would still not be enough. Oh. <sighs> oh, she can fix it, right? Give it here. Come on, Venti, fix it. Yes, prepared. See, no problem. How could this holy liar, but how? Mm. Huh? Let Paimon see! No, no. I don't know how you managed to fix it, but you'll never touch the liar again. She's so mad. We uh, really should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. <gasps> what? <gasps> <laughs> you death bar. Hey, don't go! I can't believe Venti did that. <laughs> it's gonna, like, crumble as soon as she, like, steps away from us. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh no! Uh, 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 <laughs> At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. Rodent ruler? Scurrying through the, the streets fairy? looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Uh, resident rodent beats invasive vermin. <laughs> <gasps> Don't you dare do that? speak back to me, insolent bard. <sighs> Oh no. Absolutely all kind of Mondstadt. How impotent you've become. That smirky wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? <gasps> you should have held your tongue. Oh no. Is he okay? So, this <gasps> is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. They're talking in rhyme so much. Venti! Venti! Is that the first well, time my character spoke? We have what we came here for. She's evil. Okay, Come she's before really our dear evil. Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. Passing out after much time has passed. Okay, that came out of uh, nowhere. Honorary night, you're awake. I'm awake. Okay, is everybody okay? Venti, is he all right? What planet are we on? I'm worried about Venti. Um, I wouldn't say he's all right exactly. Where is he? I found you lying unconscious outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. Okay, what about Venti? Where's Venti? That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. Well, is he okay? Is he alive? This is the first time I've encountered such a patient, but he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. Whew, okay, so he's okay. He's okay. He left? Already? Where did he go? Yeah, and he didn't even try to heal me? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean, uh, I, I mean, Master Jean, said to let him leave. How strange. I think I understand. I think Jean understands. 
I don't understand. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. Okay, find Venti at the Windrise. Okay, go to the Windrise. We'll just teleport. Perfect. Venti! Hey, there you are. You're glowing. Are you okay? The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. <laughs> I said the exact same thing last time. <sighs> Why do I only say these things when I'm down on my luck? Aww. Ugh, so you noticed. This isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. Tell me, what's, what's going on? As you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people Allogenes. Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself, known as a Gnosis. Wow. So who was that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your Gnosis? Yeah, who was that? Her name is Signora, number eight of the Harbingers. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa <gasps> of Snejnaya, and with it, strength surpassing that of other mortals. Not good. That's a recipe for the trouble. The Tsaritsa of Snejnaya? Isn't that... Indeed. She is one of the seven, the Tsaritsa who reigns from her winter palace, and the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. Ooh, she's got a lot of power. The seven don't always get along well, but still, I never thought that she would plot to steal another Archon's Gnosis. Uh, how should I put this? Put it any way you want. Just tell me. Five hundred years ago, I knew her well, but I can't say the same is true now. Look at the hill troll. We gotta be careful. You see... A certain catastrophe happened 500 years ago, and after that, she cut off all ties with me. 500 years ago? But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. If you seek the rest of the Seven, many difficulties lie ahead of you still. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue, the Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me administrates his entire region personally. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liyue for the rest of that year. Oh, perfect. Sounds like perfect timing then. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain someone, hmm? <laughs> In any case, this year's rite of dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait another year. Okay, well, we should probably go over there then. What? Oh, why didn't you tell us before? <sighs> Well, then bye! We're going! Yeah, let's go. One moment, Windborn Outlander. <laughs> Just use it gratefully. Or, better yet, treat me to a glass of dandelion wine. Okay, next time you're in town. Traveler, as you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. Every journey does. The birds of Tevat, the songs in the cities, the Tsaritsa, her Fatui and the monsters, they are all part of your journey. The destination is not everything, so before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Use the chance to take in the world around you. I understand. Great. So, that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. Back to venti time. Okay, enjoy your time underneath the tree. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Ooh, we can ask him more. Like, any more about Dvalin? Up till the end, Dvalin remembered his duty as one of the Four Winds. As such... I don't intend to forcibly strip him of that duty and force my ideals of freedom onto him. Okay, so he's okay? I just hope that Dvalin will be able to choose for himself and understand what freedom is. Right. Before I became an Archon, I too was taught the meaning of freedom in this way by a friend. Well then, best be off to Lele. If the dissension ritual you failed to tally, then another year you must dally. <laughs> All right, we're off. We unlocked a new city. Domain of Blessing Unlocked. Quest complete. Oh, I can't unlock it yet. I'm not rank 23. Okay, so we're not going to a new place yet. So I guess we'll just hang out in town still. So, you've got a taste for adventure too, huh? Right. I must say, the patrons have been in a bit of a buzz lately. Though the topic on everyone's lips is more of an urban legend than actual news. Ooh. 
Oh, even tell minding me. my own business, I still end up hearing all about it. Tell me about it. Uh oh, it's not one of those scary urban legends, is it? I hope it is. If so, Paima needs to take a deep breath first. Take a deep breath. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's not a particularly scary story, no. At least, not for most people. It's the tale of the Dark Knight Hero. Well, what is the Dark Knight Hero? Hey, look. Do you want to hear the story or not? Yes, tell us. What? What did the bartender just say? He's going to tell us the story. Anyway, the Dark Knight Hero. It is said that he appears in the middle of the night to fight evil and uphold justice. Okay, he's a hero. But to be honest, I don't have much interest in such rumors. Has anyone ever seen him? Unless, of course, he can help take care of the more belligerent patrons after they've had a few too many. I would happily take that as proof of his existence. Has anyone ever seen him? I'm told that there have been a handful of sightings, but in the depths of night, no one can get a good look at him. Okay, makes sense. Perhaps that's why he only appears at night. Nevertheless, the sightings confirm that the Dark Knight hero is more than just a groundless rumor. <laughs> Anyway, that's more or less everything I know. If you want to know more, ask around in the plaza. Uh, I need to serve some customers. All right, let's ask what other Dark people know. Dark Knight Hero. Seems like your standard cookie-cutter urban legend. Cookie-cutter. But just a little darker. Perhaps. Wonder who it could be. Once you're ready, let's head out to the plaza and ask around. Let's see what the people of Mondstadt have to say about this Dark Knight. Hi. Have you seen a Dark Knight hero? My job is eating. No, wait, there's a word for it. Gourmet. I'm a professional gourmet. I'm in Mondstadt, especially to try the food. Okay, so she's seen stew. Oh, look, I got a recipe. So she's seen food, but no Dark Knight. What about this night? I'm sure you're aware we face continuous attacks from bands of monsters from the entire duration of the storm terror incident. Ooh. Doesn't sound good. Although the storm terror incident is now resolved and we've successfully fended off the monsters, monsters have a substantial number of barricades. Can you clean up the barricades? Well, can you tell me about any Dark Knight that you might have seen? No, hasn't seen anything. anything the Knights can do for you? Have you heard about the Dark Knight hero? I've heard the name, I think. I'm not sure, sorry. Okay, he hasn't seen anything. What about the dog? Has the dog seen anything? No, the dog just wants food too. Excuse me, have you heard anything about the Dark Knight hero? Dark Knight hero, sorry. I've never heard of him. My health is poor, I don't go out at night. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, she's never heard of him. Maybe someone else knows something. Who? That's who I'm trying to find. Maybe you? Jules from Leo. No, she's selling jewels. You wanna find out about the Dark Knight hero? Yes, what do you know? Look no further. It's me. I am the Dark Knight hero. Really? You're kidding, right? Just as I thought, it was you all along. Who is that? I don't know, I'm suspicious. <laughs> You're right, I'm not. I was okay. joking. <laughs> Jokes aside, I do think that the Dark Knight hero and I have one thing in common. You both love being out at night? What's that? It's the way he sticks to his principles. Coming out here night after night, fighting for justice, keeping Mondstadt safe. Wow, so you're a nocturnal vigilante too? Thought so. <laughs> no, I just mean he must be seriously rich. What? Why is how that? She, yeah, how would she know? People only start worrying about spiritual fulfillment once they have enough material wealth. Huh, interesting. It's the same in every hero story, isn't it? I just have too much time on my hands these days. Same difference. You are the boss of the cat's tail, after all. Why don't you ask the guards at the city gate? Ooh, good question. They may have seen something. They do night shifts all the time. They must know something. Good idea, because I'm sure they're keeping an eye on everybody that comes in and out of Mondstadt. Uh, hi. You want to know about him? Please, what do you know? In fact, I'm one of the few who has seen him with my own two eyes. Really? What does he look like? Great! This is the guy we need to talk to! So, just who is the Dark Knight hero? Whoa, slow, slow down. Let me start from the beginning. Okay. Well, I was patrolling one night when... Suddenly, I heard something. I rushed over to check it out. Okay. I saw a gang of suspicious-looking fellows who looked like they were up to no good. So I quickly hid. Hid? You're supposed to be a guard! <gasps> she called him out. That was when he appeared. He was dressed in black from head to toe, perfectly hidden in the night. The way he crept up on those bad guys must have felt like a living nightmare. Or a living hero dream. Wow! Guess what I did next? Kept hiding? Ran away, became his sidekick? Please tell me you became his sidekick. 
I would probably have just gotten in the way as far as the Dark Knight hero is concerned. So instead, I headed to the Knights of Favonius' residence. I thought surely someone with such a strong sense of justice and who voluntarily protects Mondstadt is exactly the kind of person you'd find in the Knights of Favonius. You think it's one of the other fellow knights? <sighs> but it seems I was wrong. Oh. I checked everywhere, and there were no signs of anyone having left the building. So you're hmm. saying whoever it is can't be from the Knights of Avonius after all? That's a pretty good guess, though. Yes, but I just can't understand. Why would someone like that not want to join the Knights? He likes to work for himself. I'm sure they would warmly welcome someone of his abilities. And he wants to stay hidden. So... The point you're trying to make is, you don't know who the Dark Knight hero is either? Hey, don't be like that. At least by talking to me, you've ruled out a few more people. Anyway, try asking at the flower shop. I heard a girl there's been talking about the time you rescued her. We have someone who's been rescued by him. Okay, thank you. That was very helpful. There she is. All I can think about is D. Luke. <gasps> What's wrong with me? Did you hear her? Why can't I get him out of my mind? I, I don't know. You might have a crush on uh, him. Uh, hello? We'd like to ask you about the Dark Knight hero. Yeah, you've been rescued by him? My hero? Oh, sorry. Just hearing his name gets me lost in thought. Hang on. How did you know who I was talking about? Are you saying it's d -Luke? Is it that obvious? Okay. Now we know who it is. Oh, no. What am I going to do if Master D. Luke ever finds out? Huh? What's D. Luke got to do with this? He's the Dark Knight hero. Uh, well, I guess I might as well spill the beans then. Spill it. I used to think D. Luke was the one for me. But ever since the time I was rescued by the Dark Knight <gasps> hero, I, I just don't know anymore. Oh, so they're not the same person? Wow, Lee. You saw the Dark Knight hero? For real? What's he like? It all happened so fast. I was so scared. All I remember is seeing a flash of fire, but I felt safe. I only saw his silhouette, but it felt so familiar. It has to be him. A flash of fire, a vision perhaps. Familiar, could it be someone you know? Hmm. That I really do not know. Perhaps it was fate? Are you gonna marry the Dark Knight hero? Are you gonna try to see him again? You know. When you meet someone and it feels like, like you've known them your whole life. Okay then. Well, thanks for the intel, Donna. See you around. So, based on what we know so far, all we need to do is find a wealthy, vision-wielding vigilante who's not one of the knights. Hmm. Nope, still no idea. But we already asked so many people. Guess we gotta see for ourselves. Let's take a look around the city at nighttime. If we're lucky, we just might bump into him. Good idea, especially if there's some trouble starting. He's definitely likely to show up, right? It's getting dark. Let's stick around Mondstadt. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll meet the Dark Knight hero. Yes. Okay, should we hide somewhere? Should we go up really high on top of a building and peer down? Should we just hang out with the dog? So many choices. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! What are they doing in here? d -loop. He'll fight him off. He's running on the wall. Is he okay? He's okay. Ooh. Yep. The Dark Knight hero is Master d -loop? Seems like it. Is he mad that we know? After managing to steer clear of the guard's patrol route, I never anticipated I'd run into you instead. d -Luke, you are the Dark Knight hero? Dark Knight hero? Sounds awfully derivative to me. Please tell me you didn't come up with that. Oh, he's not? How is this the first you've heard of the name? Every man and his dog in Mondstadt is yapping about the Dark Knight hero. Yeah, and we've been talking to the dogs. I do not concern myself with idle chatter. Though, I suppose I may take the idleness of others as a sign that peace prevails. Donna's going to be so happy to find out that they are the same. Huzzah! The great mystery of the Dark Knight hero of Mondstadt. We saw it. Now we gotta see how he feels about Donna. Now then, Mr. Dark Knight Hero. Please stop calling me that. Seriously, 
It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Not surprised. It's the stupidest <gasps> superhero named Paimon's ever heard. You should come up with something more original. Why does she do that? Why? Why did she do that? Like... Yes? What did you come up with? Um... Captain... Pie... Not bad. Pie? Yeah, delicious. Captain Pyro! <laughs> Tell us, Captain Pyro, what happened here today? <sighs> dot, dot, dot. It was the Abyss Order. Them again? I don't know what the devil they're plotting this time. It seems they're performing some initial reconnaissance. Considering that I've proven myself to be one step ahead of them on countless occasions, their persistence is unusual. Have you been dealing with them alone the whole time? I assume so. Unless you're aware of any other Dark Knight heroes around these parts. <laughs> I mean, you never know. The Knights are, for the most part, an utterly incompetent bunch. <gasps> hey! I cannot trust them to take this matter over. Seems like you have a history with the Knights. What's past is past. I would prefer not to discuss it. Well, I hope this conversation has been of service to you. Because I would like to ask for a favor in return. You either want Pi or you want to talk with Donna. Oh? What is it, Master D. Luke? Your wish is our command! You must keep my identity a secret. Uh, Donna already knows, basically. Above all, it is crucial that you do not let the Knights of Favonius know I am connected to any of this. Okay, you got it. Oh, what are they doing down by the docks? What are they up to? <gasps> What's that sound? Yikes! Have the Abyss Order sent back up already? They appear to just be small-timers. You should have no trouble dealing with them. They're easy to take down. I cannot afford delays on account of a few lackeys. I shall have to let you take care of them. Remember, don't tell a soul. Okay, there he goes. Hopefully I have to go get a piece of pie. Hey, you're just gonna leave us like this? He said it's beneath him to take care of the Hillichurls. Ah! Yeah. All right, so I have to do it. Huh. Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah. Wingblade, got that. Huh. Perfect. Huh. You're dead. Oh no, there's even more of them. Ow! Okay, the large one got me. I Time for Noel. Stone unturned. Hey. Okay, now you. Steady as stone. Okay. Took care of them. Greetings. I thought I heard something, so I came to check it out. No worries. Just Hilla Charles. I took care of it. Did you see anything out of the ordinary? I mean, I don't know why they're so close to the city. Nope. Nuh uh. Not here. Nothing. Silch. Unless you're looking for the Dark Knight hero, in which case. No, 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 no. She needs to stop. The Dark Knight hero? You saw him? Uh, I, maybe yes, maybe no. Oh, uh, the Dark Knight hero is. Uh,. Her! Why would she say that? You! The hero who safeguards Mondstadt from the shadows! On behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I thank you for your service to this city. It's not me, but thank you. Uh, it's nothing. Really, you're too kind. She's taking credit! Wait a second. Aren't you the traveler that just arrived in the city? Yes. Rumors were circulating about the Dark Knight hero long before you ever arrived here. I don't know what to say. Uh, Just don't tell him. Don't tell him about Diluc. Why would you lie to me about that? Never mind. You don't seem like bad folks. Whew. But I do hope you will visit the Knights of Favonia soon, where we can discuss the Dark Knight hero situation in more detail. Sure. You know, some things are best not discussed in public. Understood. Duty calls. I must be going. Stay safe, traveler. Thank you. There he goes. Okay! Well, that was interesting. Seems like Huffman has something he really wants to say to you about the Dark Knight hero. Better head over to the Knights of Avonius and see if you can find him. Now we know who the Dark Knight hero is. Very, very interesting. Remember, you can be your own hero every single day of your life, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, cookies!